Oh my goodness, I just got back from talking to Misty. And guess what? We have the same dark past. Can you believe it? Wow, that's interesting to hear from ya. Both Mr. Rich and Alba Bill are remarkable fathers, especially when it comes to their respective children. Very true, Scoots. Okay, Twilight, what's in store for our next reaction? Hello, Twy! Are you doing okay? I'm really worried. Whoa, well, yeah. I'm fine, I'm just... I'm a little worried about this episode of Tell Your Tale, Spike. Especially after seeing this image. Oh, that's from Season 1, Episode 46, Sparky Sick. Wait, Sparky Sick. Oh shit, this is bad for the baby dragon. Applejack, it's not just that, but this episode has been criticized as one of the lowest points in Tell Your Tale history. Seriously? I mean, Eric Toke is one of those people who strongly dislikes this. Yeah, I know! As the Lord of Chaos, I'd advise against saying things like that. Don't say that! Pinky's right. I can't shake the feeling of unease about why this episode is being kept from G5 fans. Pinky's warning about Jessup Silcock and Naomi Smith has me feeling really worried. And I'll see why, so let's go. Sparky's sad! Ah, ah, he said it! He said it! Roll credits right away. Whoa! Well, easy with the burping there, Sparky! Uh, hiccup? I think it was a burp? <gasps> A heck of burp makes total sense. Uh, Excuse you, darling. I'm sure he'll be fine, Hitch. Like Elderflower says, if it's gassy, let it pass. -y. Yep, very true, Izzy. Dang, okay, a bounce melody. That's not your typical <laughs> ailment, <laughs> for sure. You gotta admit, do. Rainbow Dash makes a pretty good point. Oh, you poor, oh, poor little baby. Really help. Oh, sure, super ideas, Izzy. Maybe one of these ancient unicorn remedies will be the perfect solution. Don't worry, ponies. I know exactly what to do. Oh, fuck yes. Sip Storm is the one to handle this. A few high octane stunts will shock. Just throwing it out there, Sip right Partner. Idea. But have you double checked if flying with the baby dragon is truly the fix for that? <laughs> I bet you're feeling uh, better shit. Already. I don't think that is working. <laughs> well, that tree just turned into a spaghetti shape net. Hurry, yo! <laughs> Hope Sunny knows how to cure the sickness. Six bananas. A squeeze of mustard. Chocolate sprinkles. Toothpaste. Wait, what? Uh, yeah. What sort of smoothie fusion is this? If you can even define it as that. Uh, I don't think so. Dang, I was fully certain that this will work. Yeah, same. Hmm, what is she gonna do? That wasn't scary enough. Well, I guess we'll have to try something. You're so funny. Her circus wig has turned into Greeks. Vocal exercises. Just do what I do, okay? Deep breath. And. Oh, singing classes with Pip are so much fun! Yes. Oh, wow, Sparky, you're singing so well. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> oh, that's absolutely beautiful. It brings tears of happiness to my eyes. Lollipops for everyone! Oopsie Daisy! Her microphone magically transformed into a scrumptious oh, lollipop! <laughs> and they're getting uh, worse. this is concerning. Is she turning everything from oh, Mare Chambay hey, into food? Those were the days when she had a baby blue and teal green mane. Oh, how I remember them. Oh, hey, hey, Uppaline. Just, just wanted to make it clear that I haven't missed you in the slightest. You bitch! I'm still not sure what your ponies are so worried about that episode, but I'm having a blast so far! What are you waiting for? Fetch me that uh, I can't deal with this, y'all. I understand, but let's appreciate the fact that Opaline is no longer here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! His birth death sentence is getting more severe! Oh dear! It's starting to resemble Cloudy with a chance of meatballs here, yo! <laughs> oh dear me! Fluttershy, darling! It's not just a minor jelly incident, but rather a colossal jelly avalanche!
It's really concerning to see Sparky in such pain. He's experiencing a dreadful stomachache. Tell me about it. It's planning! What is it exactly? Another smoothie. Oh gosh, poor Reckon! <laughs> oh, gross! Yuck! That smoothie is so much more fucking repugnant than the one before! It's overflowing with disgusting yukinis! Terrific to smoothies that ended up being a total flop! Uh, why are they taking cover? Incoming! <laughs> That's not funny, you sick fuck! This is why. Sparky, what the fuck were you thinking? I'm so glad you're feeling better. Well, at least he's no longer sick, but seriously, that farm was absolutely bald to witness. It's utterly disgusting. Fucking hell. Ugh, I finally grasped why that episode is so detested. Disgusting. Don't blame her for this now. Yeah, you and me both, Misty, darling. How fucking dare you, Sparky? I'm absolutely disgusted by your behavior. What you did to her is offensive and repugnant. How dare you stoop so low? Yeah, I'm with Rarity. Why did you do that? And that was Sparky sick. Oh, remembering this episode is making me furious. Uh, just uh, Naomi. Unacceptable. Look, I know how much the writing has improved in episodes like Nightmare Mark and Misty Moves in Jazz Hearts Rocky. And the lone alicorn, but looking back at this travesty, it's still the worst. The mean fight test out and convince our remedies to treat Sparks increasingly severe burp the problem. Well, yes, the beginning of this episode was a blast. No major catastrophes, just good times all around. But then, just when you dare to hope, the second part barges in and ruins everything. And then, to make matters worse, his enormous and disgusting fart obliterates any shred of hope that was left. I can't even express how angry this makes me. Especially when it really grinds my gears when the fart is on Misty. Gross. Uh, I can't stand fart jokes. They're beyond irritating and completely unfunny. 